Welcome back. We now we are doing the recording of 13th of October's Godly Blessing where Supreme Father wants us to become a conqueror of matter. Now matter over here means our physical body and also things which are around us. That means things around us don't have to make an effect on our emotions, on our feelings and on our emotions. Feelings and emotions are the ones which actually trigger your subconscious mind and they actually affect your immune system and can make you feel sick physically or can make you feel light physically. That means diseaseless. So let's see what does Supreme Father have to say over here and find out. God says in the title, may you be a conqueror of matter because he is the conqueror of matter. He is beyond matter. That's why never born. And a conqueror of Maya. Maya means any thoughts which are making us feel lustful. Lustful can not just be physically, for physical body, but physical things around us. For money also, you can lust for money. You can lust for food. You can lust for clothes. You can lust for wealth and luxury. Or you can be content and still improving. So lust, anger, greed, ego attachment is known as Maya collectively. And bring benefit to yourself and everyone else in this benevolent age. Now this age is not the Kali Yuga or the Iron Age going on. It's known as the Sangam Yuga or the Confluence Age. It's a confluence between the Iron Age and the Golden Age. So there's a huge transition happening. That's why you can see upheaval in the whole world. Whether there's economic upheaval, whether there's war, that means inter-country upheaval, whether there's upheaval within religions, within politics and everything, you see an upheaval everywhere. You don't see anything settled nicely. Yeah? So that's a transition time. That's why all these things are going to go into extremities. God then says, in this benevolent age, you children are also benevolent with the benevolent father. Father or God or Allah or creator or infinite light or metaphysical source energy or uh, you can call him as quantum field source. Whatsoever you want to. Your challenge is, we are world transformers. People of the world can only see destruction. That's what they're seeing. You open up any channel, you see there's only destruction. Whether it's economic destruction, whether it's political destruction, destruction of religion, destruction of values, destruction of your mood. So there's destruction of everything. Wealth, destruction is happening. So God says there's destruction. And this is why they think that this is a time of non-benevolence. They think oh, the world is becoming very non-livable. But God is trying to remind them through this knowledge, through this word, and that it's a benevolent time. It's a time to change the self and become detached with all the things which are happening in the world. And you can still be happy and still be content. However, together with destruction, you also see establishment clearly in front of you. What is getting established? The new world is getting established. The new world can only get established New world means the physical world can get established when the inner world or the software. See, for the hardware to change, the software also has to change. Hardware to upgrade, software also has to upgrade. So when we upgrade the software in this bio software sphere, unlike your laptop, when you upgrade the software, automatically the hardware gets upgraded. In this case, you have to upgrade the software separately, you have to upgrade the hardware separately, but over here, it's since it's a consortium in the terms like you have the soul, you have the energy, and you have the body. Together, they are getting upgraded. So, this is something very different. It cannot be explained biologically separately, it cannot be explained metaphysically separately. So it's a consortium of both the things coming together. And this consortium, this combination is something which is unfathomable by many people. So many people are trying to find out the answers just through biological ways. Some people are trying to find out the answers just through spiritual ways. But it's a combination of both science and spirituality. The invisible and the visible has to come to a common line. And that's where we will understand how it everything comes to its understanding and how does everything become into being. So God then says, however, together with destruction, you also see establishment clearly in front of you. So we see the upgradation of software and we are seeing that there's a change in the world for the upgradation of the hardware. Hardware means the world is going to change. 
whether you call it through destruction, whether you call it through tsunamis and big avalanches or whatsoever you want to call it. It is a change in the physical structure. And so you have the good wishes in your mind of bringing benefit to everyone. Let alone being benevolent to human souls, you are also benevolent to matter. That means you care about matter. You don't waste water. You don't waste electricity. You don't waste energy in any form. And so you are called conquerors of matter. That means you are thankful to the matter. You're not misusing it. You're not overusing it. You're not uh, doing certain acts because of which, like greed, you are actually making the matter move from one place to another place where it's not supposed to be done like that. You see, because of which you see global warming happening. You see so many climatical changes happening around us. So God says you are also conquerors of matter and conquerors of maya. So once you become a conqueror of maya, you get the power. That means your sixth sense, your software becomes so vibrant that you have the power to actually change the five elements. You have the power to change water element, make it your subordinate, make fire element your subordinate, make your air element your subordinate. Subordinate doesn't mean that you make them work hard, but you work along with them in tandem. They listen to you. And God says matter becomes a bestower of happiness to you. It starts giving you happiness. Anyway you think I want, um, I'm going to this place. For example, I want the water element to support me for some time. Let it rain over there for some time. Make it cooler and calmer. It does that. So that's the first test that you are becoming purer and five elements have started listening to you. And this is a practical example which I have been doing and I have been facing and I have been seeing the results. You too can do the same but with purity first. Change the software and the software doesn't just change this hardware, it changes everything around it including the matter. Where this Om Shanti.